What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a very special break for Richard Omega, <clears throat> long-term patron. Appreciate all the support and for sponsoring this open and kind of like uh, inspiring. This was entirely his idea. He said, in order to say farewell to the Sword and Shield era, let's do a special booster box break consisting of two packs from every Sword and Shield set <clears throat> and two extra of his choice, which was Evolving Skies. Uh, so we did offer to the patrons, and I think we might have one more after this. But let's get into it. 36 packs of open, two of every set, two additional of Evolving Skies. Definitely a good choice of a favorite. Uh, let me just grab a box for wrappers. <clears throat> all right, first pack, Sword and Shield era, where it all began. Sword and Shield base. And for pack number one, we have a Quick Ball, very good card, into just a set to Scorch. Pack number one. <clears throat> Hope you're all having a good day. Apologies if I'm clearing my throat. I think, uh, so it's oh, it's uh, mid-March at this point, and uh, I feel like my allergies are starting to kick in. And I took all my medicine and stuff, the spray. Uh, we got a reverse Snorlax. Oh, I forgot about this art. Uh, Sword and... Yeah, the Sword and Shield base, right? So there's a lot of Snorlaxes in this set. So just a grapple lock for pack number two. All right, so nothing there, but you know, we're still early on. And whipping on that set, not the end of the world. Actually, not even sure what the biggest hit is. I think we got something in this pack. Might be a full art. All right, let's see. Rebel Clash. What we got in Rebel Clash? The boss? Boss's orders? Um, Dragapults? Ooh, a Melotic V for our first hit. This should be fun, just kind of going through, walking down memory lane of the Sword and Shield era. Obviously, I think some of the bigger stuff towards the end when they really got into a lot of the alt art stuff, but all right, we got our first hit. <clears throat> all right, so I do have some um, kind of like backup stuff. We're always hoping for the best, but I don't like to kind of like people sign up for big breaks and come out empty-handed um so i want to say we're going to add some stuff if we don't get at least like a secret rare or like a gallery card of like textured nature um so definitely want at least one big hit out of this opening for our patron if not we got some backup packs but yeah a lot of cool stuff and it was interesting kind of being reminded of the set of, I don't remember how many years it's, couple, last couple years, uh, going through this era of Pokemon. Um, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, Shining Fates was, Champion's Path was part of this set. Uh, sometimes I forget about the specialty sets. And uh, what, a, what a era it's been, not only for the sets, but just like the times. Um, yeah, during like 2020, 2021, life was just weird i feel like i already do look back at those times it's like oh yeah that was such a weird period of time and life was just very strange and uh all right here we go champion's path obviously we got two zars we got some not my favorite turtles but we got some turtles in here gardevoir um oh all right if if this is where we get our secret we're not going to count it that's stupid <laughs> the tin mystery food uh is not going to count if that's our only secret rare we're not going to count that as the secret rare oh okay we got our first texture card a grapple lock v got some squid for our first textured hit whenever i record i get a little warm so just took off my hoodie put a sleeve onto you and as always, uh, if you do do a break and you see something you do want graded, uh, I'll kind of give my opinion if something is worth it. And you can kind of tell by the sleeve I put onto it. If it's like a penny sleeve, then it's definitely worth considering. Uh, regular ETB sleeve, in my opinion, probably not. But obviously, if you do disagree, do reach out. Oh, and in there. All right, Lightbird into... Oh, huh. wait, this was in this set too? <laughs> I thought that was a sword and shield base thing. All right, Vivid Voltage, onto the Chunky Chew. Actually, Richard Omega, what did we open? I think we opened, oh, it's kind of weird. Uh, a, um, what was it? The Sword and Shield Premium Box with the gold, oh, this is, what is this? What's going on here? Let's just open it from this side, see if this is, okay, there we go. Wrapper was a little weird. Um, 
one of those Zacian uh, Zamazenta premium boxes, and we did pull the Rainbow Chunky Chew. So that would be a nice thing to repeat, and just a Deancey for that pack. All right, so we're almost a third of the way through the quote unquote booster box, and we got two hits. I want to say, actually, depending on the era, it was like what, anywhere from like six to eight to ten, including if we include gallery and gar or galleries and stuff like that. So I want to say we're a little bit behind. Whoa, what the? Double. That's weird. Those, those, both of those vivid voltage packs were a little strange. At least the wrap was weird. Uh, so where do these packs come from? Um, let's see, the vivid voltage might have just been like I had just from. When I was breaking up products, uh, but I did have to. I actually bought a Silver Tempest ETB for this just to have Silver Tempest packs because what I realized is at least there are what the heck, um, not too many products with Silver Tempest in it, and at least I've actually never opened a Silver Tempest pack before. Uh, I do have some booster boxes, but I'm just gonna keep those sealed. But then we also had to open a Gold Peek Around box from. GameStop and not the most recent printing of it. I think it's probably early on. I had like a damaged box. Uh, so I just decided to open it and had like just Evolving Skies and Chilling Rain, which is pretty cool. I think it might have been like four, uh, four and six. So very nice pack selection there. All right, we are open, done with our first set of stuff. What did we just open? Uh, was that Shiny Fates? All right, no hit on Shiny Fates is pretty bad. So we're going to grab a backup already. Two hits out of the first third of the box is not a good start but i definitely don't mind it being like all the hits being towards the back because that is where all the alt arts that we're looking for are Ooh, double whiff on um, wait wait what shining fates after oh, okay shining fates which i hidden fates still like one of my favorites i think shining fates is not going to age super well because first off it was too quick after Hidden Fates, the success of Hidden Fates, and it's kind of like the same thing, but watered down. Um, but then it's right before this new era of alternate art. So, um, ooh, a nice Galarian Slowbro, but it's just a rare. All right, Battle Styles. Let's see, the Drug T-Tar, definitely the thing we're looking for the most in my opinion. What we got? I'm not sure there's something in here. Uh, then I also had to open, so kind of like similar to Silver Tempest, um, don't have a lot of sealed stuff with Astro and Lost Origins, so we also cracked a Zard ETB, or no, a Zard UPC, to get some packs. Alright, things are, we're struggling here, not going to lie, and I feel like this is like the uh, concern, or the risk of doing just like miscellaneous packs you know pre uh, boxes and stuff like that all right we're tapping into our reserve pile with something big evolving skies let's let's uh let's get this on track we have a total of four evolving skies packs in this break Ooh, i think we got uh, it might just be a regular v um but here is a fifth bonus one stormy mountain into all right just a suicune v but we'll take it. Grab a sleeve for you. And once again, Richard Mega, great idea. Uh, thanks for <laughs> thanks for suggesting it and uh, signing up for it. And uh, yeah, as we bid farewell to the Sword and Shield era and get ready for Scarlet and Violet. Um, I feel like I'm excited. I feel like the next gen. You know, I, I did play through the game. Um. I did enjoy it, but I feel like the, the new Pokemon, you know, it's not exactly something, there's not too many in that, oh, this Pokemon's really cool, I can't wait to, uh, for the cards to be released about it. Alright, we're getting to our first wave of Evolving Skies, so we got two at the end, so the, kind of like the break is two of every set, but that comes out to 17, so it's only 34 packs, and as we do want to do a booster box, so then it's like, just pick two, or your favorite set, or one, your Two favorite sets, and we'll add a couple, or a pack of each. Well, this guy's one. I guess second pack. A whiff. All right, we're almost two thirds 
And we only got three hits. We have to tap into more of these bonus packs. All right, a Kyrim into a Zorark. All right, double whiff on that. Ooh, celebrations. That should be fun. But let's grab, oh, Crown Zenith. Come on, this is like so many hits. <laughs> we just need to uh, start getting some hits under the belt and get into the swing of things. This is a pretty uh, surefire way to do it, right? I thought uh, Shining Fates would be a... Okay, we got a Galarian Gallery. I feel like this card's pretty well centered. Um, anything as recent as Crown Zenith, I feel like it's a little, you know, I question if it's worth it to grade, but let's put it in a penny sleeve. So I think at least the centering wise looks pretty good. Maybe this, no, I feel like it's pretty solid. Um, but again, because Crown's Need of how good of a set it is, you know, I feel like so many people are opening it and gonna be submitting cards. So I wouldn't say it's a recommendation, but it's worthwhile looking at. All right, Celebrations. I think Celebrations was a home run. Uh, and I am optimistic for like the long-term potential of this set. Um, I feel like I, I do appreciate that it's a very small set so like collecting it like a master set is so doable um, and just to go through like the history of like the different kinds of cards was such a good idea we got Xerneas into a Cosmog Ooh, I think this was the hit right where the hit would it be so Galeo into Zekrom I'm right, gonna put these off to the side they are all hollows All right, very slow start. I think over halfway through the opening, only four hits, nothing, to, no secret rare yet. And I did, I did uh, say we'll, we'll open additional stuff if we do not get a secret rare. Uh, obviously, hits in this set. Uh, any of the what was it classic collection? Um, I think we got some kind of full art card. Ooh, okay, a Reshiram. I do like the. Um, Actually, was it Reshiram? Reshiram and something else. Um, and a Sogaleo. So not a bad hit there. Centering. I think this part would bring it down to a 9. So we're just put it in an ETB sleeve. What was it? Uh, Reshiram and Zekrom. Yeah, I think within this, that one's like the darker card. I did like that kind of um, aesthetic. Uh, all right, let's go to Fusion Strike. Get our first secret rare, first big ult and art hits as we are in the alt art era at this point. Mankey, Krogunk. Basculin into a Yavelta. Ooh, I think the Yavelta, what attack is that? It's like a hyper beam or something. All right, fusion track number two. I think I forgot about the news in this set. All right, I think we got something in this pack. Zerua Caterpie into, ooh, just a T-Tar V. All right, let's grab another bonus pack. Still feel like we're a little lackluster on the hits. All right, this, believe it or not, this is my first ever opened Silver Tempest pack. Let's see if we can start Silver Tempest with a bang. Finnegan, Jinx, Reverse, into just a Cabalion. All right, getting back on track with Brilliant Stars. Ooh, tons of Zards in this set. I think, I want to say, Richard Mega does have the Alt Art Charizard V, which I think might be the one I desire the most. Uh, ooh, we got a Jolteon. All right, we do have a um, Evolution into a Hexorus. So we will take an evolution. It's trainer galley, very off-centered. I mean, this thing, I'm gonna put this in a penny sleeve. I don't think this would get OC grade, but that is pretty bad. And I do think that OCs, I don't know, I feel like they're pretty inconsistent. And, um, but whenever I do get one, it's like, oh, that's pretty cool. OC nine. But yeah, so I did pull the, I don't think I did on camera. I think I was just opening packs um with my uh my, my girlfriend and we did pull the ooh another one was this also brilliant stars 
because uh so these packs may have come from a a the charizard upc and i know that tca like he had like a huge batch of them that all the brilliant stars had gallery cards in them and uh, i did open one just to like see and it, i didn't get it but you know we just hit two in a row all right moving on to astro still no big secret rare hits no big alternate arts all right cool fish growler bergmite into a cricket tot into a overquill i'm not sure how familiar with this pokemon is overquill i think it's because they changed the name slightly or something all right let's grab let's see let's grab another fusion strike i wonder how fusion strike will do i do feel like a lot of it was printed uh but does have i believe this is where they have the espion and i believe we pulled one for ty from a booster box opening all right a grubbin two ah just a leaveny all right, going into the home stretch, I would say this is where the most potential is, but uh, yeah, we still have a lot of catching up to do. Is that Quillfish again, Registeel, into a Vespaquin. Pokemon Go. I don't think I've done any videos of Pokemon Go. Have I opened any? I probably opened like at least one pack, but I definitely don't know too much about this set. I definitely, I think this was a lackluster set, and I think they could have done a lot more to do with the game. There was some stuff that I did like, like I think the Blissey is in a gym, which is uh, very reminiscent of at least at some point when I was playing Pokemon Go, like just Blisseys were everywhere because it was such a good thing to hold down the gym. Uh, but I would appreciate, what was it like, you know, obviously they have these trainers, which is not nothing, but a little in executor I feel like would have been a pro perfect one where you don't actually see his faces you just see his like the bottom part um because that was like such a funny thing from the actual game Ooh, all right not a bad hit Dragonite V I think the what was it the, the Mewtwo in the city that one does look really cool all right this Dragonite V on the front I feel like the center looks not perfect not nearly as bad from the back and that's always a little frustrating Dragonite V, not a bad hit. But, you know, I feel like they could have did more cards where the art looks like you're actually playing the game. Uh, so I definitely think this was not the best executed set or had a lot more potential to be, you know, for people that do play the games, like, oh yeah, this looks familiar. This thing's not bad. Because I think that's how, like, Magikarp kind of flopped around when you're trying to catch them. Eevee's not bad. Oh, actually, how about the Ditto cards? I'll have to double check. Pretty sure we don't have a Ditto card. Um, did forget about Nat 2 into a Mel Metal. All right, Lost Origins. Is this the one with the uh, the Giratina? Meditate. Litleo into a Slugma into a Dugong. All right, let's see. Let's grab another pack from up here. Brilliant stars. Desert. Sock Corfish. Let's go let And to Yell's Cheer. Ah, Empoleon. Ooh, ooh. This is tough. All right, running into the tail end of the opening. I did say Seeker Rare. So let's keep uh, let's keep going. Parasect. All right, Silver Tempest. This is our second ever Silver Tempest opening. I, I actually don't even know all the uh, hits in this set. Obviously, we got the Lugia, and that's it. I think all I'm aware of. <laughs> so this is Zubat, a L Gym, Venet into oh, Growlithe. I thought I saw something from the side. All right, Lugia pack art next. All right, then we got some wrapping up the history of Sword and Shield with two Crown Zenith and then finally two more Evolving Skies. A Swablu into Verizian. And I didn't open a ton of Evolving Skies and I feel like on Reddit they refer to it as like Evolving Cries or something. That's pretty good. 
But yeah, such a tough set, such high potential. All right, Crown Zenith. I think this was a great way to wrap up the era. Such a fun set to open. Uh, let's see, for Richard Omega, we did pull one of the, I don't know what people call it. I call it like the cave cards. Those are four. Ooh, all right, we got a Radiant Charger Bug. Do we got something else behind this? Ah, just a Tauros. All right, nice little Radiant card. All right, so at this point, we have a decent amount of hits back there. Um, you know, kind of reminiscent to like a booster box, but we are lacking that big hit from this opening. Chat it, Cricket Tot, into, come on, ah, oh, Lightbird. All right, we got two Evolving Skies left. Let's hit these bonus packs. Think we can guarantee it, but we're going to try our best. Oh, Victini. All right, at least it's a hit. Come on, sleeve. But as always, guys, appreciate you watching the video. And if you do want to support the channel, just like and subscribe as always. All right, the last bonus pack I have up here at the top Chilling Rain. Mm, no luck there. All right, let's just do a quick, quick roll call before we jump into the last two packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, like hit count is there. Hit quality, lackluster. Come on, and this with a bang. How how epic would that be to get a nice evolution alt art or the Dragonite? To save this break for Richard Omega. Ooh, Smeargle. Ends up being a bit of a long opening. Come on. Ooh, gay. Okay. You guys can see that. All right, what is that? Is that just a regular V? I hope not. All right. Come on. Oh, gosh, so close. Oh, so close. Umbreon VMAX. Yeah, it's a little off-center. All right, you know what? Pre Richard Omega is a long-term patron, and, you know, I had, feel like he had a great idea. I'm going to grab a couple more packs from him. Be right back. All right, Mr. Omega. We got four last stabs at this. Uh, put in, like, some, some high hit rate packs. Just to get a little more into the hit pile, and then one more home run pack that is the Evolving Skies. Let's start with a little Shining Fate. Look for some of those shinies. I think this is the set that um, Richard Omega was just like, Oh, I pulled another Charizard V Max. He's just like, went absolutely nuts. I think he had like five or something. I think we got at least one in a break, and I think like he went insane with his like, Oh, the reverse slot's already right here. Yon Omega. So let's continue that insane luck you had with this pack. Come on, let's go. And not so sure on the side. Cacnea Shinx, Snickets. Ooh, all right. Oh, that's not a bad one. Got that cool little, what is it called again? Uh, headbutt Tantrum. Into a boss's order. Not sure if... Um, Kind of like in the, the format, the more, uh, I don't remember the name of the formats, but the non-standard format, uh, if this, how relevant this guy is, but I, I remember like, he was quite useful. Scan that one tick of damage, was a big deal. All right, Crown Zenith, tons of fun to open because of the plethora of hits, let's do it. Cute Rock Ruff. Ooh. Do you hear what I said? Plethora of hits? Come on. All right. Evolving Skies. Richard Mega, appreciate you signing up and coming up with this great idea. Lackluster on the hit quality, but it was a ton of fun to walk down memory lane. Final pack. Best of luck. Probably include something within the card package I sent to you. Or put a little something extra for you to open on your own time. All right. Wishy washy, come on. Ooh. Ah, 
Espeon V. So we did get two evolutions from Evolving Skies, but no alt arts. All right, that was quite, ooh, quite a lot of packs we opened. Um, so yeah, we didn't hit that big secret rare hit, uh, but we did try our best to get that for you. Um, and that's gonna do it. I think we might have one more of these, uh, some another PSA video to come in short, uh, coming soon. And um, yeah, we have always plenty more cards of PSA, PSA uh, submission video. So some more content to come. As always, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace. All right, I was about to start cleaning up. Walk past the um, pile of, of loose packs. <laughs> Grab two more. <laughs> Ah, uh, come on. Ooh, come on. Something's there. Come on, be a double. One in the reverse slots. Shiny in the reverse. There we go. A Phalanx V. Super off-centered. Into, oh, a nice double hit pack. Shiny V. All right, that's that's more like it. Still not the, uh, the home run, but, you know, from Shining Fates. You know, that's like as... Uh, you know, you can ask. There is a little bit more to be. Wow, that is super off-centered. If it was like a more popular Pokemon, I would say, yeah, let's get this graded. And a El Creme V. All right, now we have a very nice, decent set of hits. All right, one more Crown Zenith. I feel like the Crown Zenith so far today, we have like a Charger Bug, and that was basically it. And this set is so fun to open. All right, last pack for the video. Ooh, ah, oh, it's not the uh, not the textured version. Into a Rotom. So good amount of hits in those packs. And all right, this time that's gonna be end. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Wild Turtle. Catch you next time. Peace.